Hi everyone, welcome to Creativity Stubs and this is another video by me. So, let us take a look at the book and now we are going to fold the second model. So last time I showed you how to fold this magic flag by Jeremy Schaefer and today I am going to show you how to fold This mouse by Stephen Cassie. So this is a rather intermediate video, high intermediate. And most of you will be able to fold it. So let's go. For this model, I am using a 6 inch square of origami paper and I recommend it fold in folding it from a larger sheet or the sheet the same size as this 6 inch square so ready to fold So start out by folding the paper diagonally in half. And now unfold it and you see a crease in the middle. So on this crease you need to just fold both the edges to the center crease. And make sure to make very very accurate folds because accurate origami is good origami and crease sharply and one more important thing while making origamis or while folding any origami model do not hurry Keep patience. So it is like a kite. This is known as the kite base. And now turn it over. And now you see this point and this point. So take this point and fold it up to this point. So see it sharply and then turn it over and now here is a some kind of somewhat tricky step so you see these two flaps take one of them take one of them and lift them and just Squash this layer. Well, I bet most of you didn't understand it. Now I will show it clearly with this flap. So take a look. I am holding this flap. I just put my finger all the way in. And then I just lifted this layer and folded it to the middle like we did while making the kite and just 
hold it to the point. So it's another kite. And now take this flap and fold it up. Or you can take the back flap and fold it up. So this becomes the fish base. So see, this is the kite that we made. And then it has two flaps. So if you take just one flap and fold it up, it becomes the fish base. So you can see the two points at the bottom. So see, what you have to do is turn it over, rotate it so that the two points are at the top and then just fold this bottom point to the two points. Unfold it and then after unfolding We are going to refold it and we are going to exercise it a little bit. Unfold and refold. When it's refolded, then you need to take the bottom corner and fold it so that the fold originates at this bottom point and this corner touches this point. So we are making a fold which is like this. So see, this corner will touch this point and the fold will originate at this point. So we are going to fold it like this. And now unfold it and do the same thing to the other side. So now this time, this point will touch this point and the fold will originate at this point. So do the same thing. And now unfold it and now unfold the flap And now fold this flap down to this point. And now unfold and do the same thing with the other side. And now fold it to one side and then we need to take out the extra paper. So I will show you how to do that. See if it is on this side you need to unfold and you need to take the paper out and you need to refold it and you need to push it down near the first crease. So this is what has happened. So first this was inside and the fold was like this but then we just Fold the paper out like this. On the first crease we folded it. And then you see this crease you, we need to fold the flap on that crease 
like this and then we need to just squash it so see it is it will be like this and again the same thing we need to ease out extra paper from here so just take the paper and just remove it out so it will be like this and now take this flap and fold this point to the top point I mean the bottom point and now unfold it and then Fold this point to the point of the crease that we just made. So this point. And now the point that we just folded, we need to reverse it. So see how to reverse. Open, open the big pocket and then just fold this point inside and just close the point like this and now you see this fold which we previously made do another reverse fold using the same fold you put it like this and see this is what has happened and now you need to just lift everything and you need to flip it back so the model will be like this and now take these two points to the top and then put this point to this point And then put this edge to this crease. So we are making a rabbit ear fold. And if you don't know what a rabbit ear fold is, so I will tell you. So the two folds that we just made, make the two folds together like this. Both the folds we need to make together. so that a spike comes out and then you just fold it to the left and do the same thing on the other side so fold this crease to this edge and this point to this point and wrap it here And now, unfold the, both the rabbit ears and the creases which are made by both the rabbit ears. We need to make another rabbit ear using them. So see, you can see a creases, a prism of creases. So you see this crease. So we need to fold this edge to this crease like this. And then we need to fold this edge to this crease like this. And then make a rabbit here. Do the same thing with the other side. So, and this must be quite easy because we have already made one rabbit here. An important notice after making the rabbit here. Fold it to the left, not to the right. And the other flap, fold it to the left. So the outside. So, 
Well, this is to this crease. And for this edge to this crease. And wrap it here. And fold it to the left. I mean to the right. So see this will be the result of the model. And then we need to fold this whole model in half like this. And so the hidden flap will be like this. And so unnoticingly we made a crimp over here. See over here we made a crimp. And so, what you have to do is take this edge and align it with the top edge. So, take the whole edge, not the rabbit ears, the whole edge. And fold it so that the edge aligns with the top edge. So turn it over and do the same thing. So it will be like this and these are the arms of the mouse, the two arms. The two rabbit ears were for that only. And now we need to go for the legs. So what to do? Take this point and fold it so that the fold originates at this point and this edge aligns with this edge. The fold must originate at this point and this edge must align with this edge. So like this we are doing. And now after that what we are going to do see. Open the bottom layer and just Pins the folds that we just fold that we just made. There will be creases. It will be like somewhat a V. And then just take these edges together. See, just take these edges together and fold it towards the front so that there is just a little bit of distance between the arm and the cream fold like this. So it will be like this. So this will be the mouse's legs. These. There are two legs. And this will be the tail. This will be the head. And now fold the tail down so that the fold will originate at this point and just estimate so that the fold line will be straight. And then open the bottom and just reverse it inside. So we need to push it in along the creases that we just made and make the valleys mountains and just fold it. So it went inside. And now we need to make a swivel fold. So what to do? Fold 
fold this edge so that it aligns with this edge. Unfold and lift this flap and put it. See, it's like this now. Unfold, lift this flap and fold it inside the flap. And just extend it a little bit and just fold it down. So do the same thing behind. So we are going to fold it like this. And we are going to unfold it and lift the flap. And just we are going to fold it inside. and collapse it and now we need to reverse fold these two corners so can you see a sort of w on the head so take the bottom part of the bottom spike of the w and push it inside and just fold it like this same thing the other spike of the w open the w and push the spike inside and then take the two flaps behind so this is the mouse head and these are the ears and you see a tiny crease over here take this and fold it onto the crease like this and do the same thing behind And then take the head and as you can see this is locked. So just carefully pinch these edges and just act out as if we are reverse folding and just push it a little bit. And then just crimp it so you see what I did I just pushed it a little bit so that it became like this and I just pushed it behind so it's a crimp so the mouse's head is done and now turn it over and you need to fold the tail like this and then you need to reverse fold this tail And see, this is the tail and again we are going to swivel fold. So, fold this edge to this edge. And lift this flap and fold it under it. Extend it a little bit and fold. Do the same thing on the back side. The mouse is showing a lot of detail but still it's not done. A few minor details are remaining. So take this corner and just tuck it inside if you want. So if you like the mouse like this then you are done. 
but if you want it to be more complicated then take this point and put it inside so it will make a rounded body and repeat behind and now we need to just sink it so what is a sink so turn it like this and open it and take this flap and push it to one side and then fold the top point down as you want like this and then open it and open the bottom part and just push it inside like this and then close it so it is the mouse and if you want you can just curve the tail and then we are done it stands and today only this so that's it for today bye bye subscribe for more videos and please support me you can support my channel so bye bye